I'm Andrew Harvey, technical writer here at Trihedral Engineering, and this is the second video in the series on OEM layers in VT Skeeda. If you haven't seen the first video in the series yet, please watch that before this one. Now, in the first video, I introduced the concept of layers in VT Skeeda, and you saw how one application could be built on top of another, being able to see and use all of the features from the first one. Now you also saw how any change made to that underlying layer would immediately be inherited by the second application so long as there wasn't a, a local override or a local copy of that feature. Now in the first video in the example, both the OEM layer with full source code and the working application were installed on the same workstation. Changes made to the, uh, the OEM layer were immediately inherited by the working application. Now this might be the case at a utility or a small company. In such a situation, if you want to protect the OEM layer, well just enable security and don't give configuration privileges to anyone you don't trust. Now, if you are uh, distributing your uh, OEM layer, you're a system integrator and you want to give the layer to customers as part of an application you've built for them, then build it as a snapshot change set and don't include the source code files. That way, customers will not be able to see your source code and they will also not be able to modify or override any of the, uh, the features, including the, the pages, the widgets, the reports, anything else that's stored in a source code file, which is pretty much everything except for tags in the tag database and application properties. Let's see an example. If we open the application properties for any application, in this case, the completer tutorial, and take a look at the options and create in a change set. A standard or full change set contains the complete development history of the application and a copy of all the source code files. A snapshot change set will only contain the current state of the application with no history. And if you deselect the option of uh, including source code files, then when someone installs this change set, if they try to edit something, they won't even get an idea studio. So this option should be used in the situation where no one should edit the OEM layer at the customer site. To further protect the layer, you might do two things before creating the snapshot. Enable security, and also create a local copy of the application property do not start, setting the value of that to one. At the destination site, the layer can be activated and it can be used as an OEM layer, but it cannot be opened for editing, or if you did open it, no one would have security rights. And so this is, at least in part, how the VT SCADA layer works. Every application that you create is built on top of the VT SCADA, from which all the tags, the widgets, pages, and everything else is inherited. You can do what you want with your own application, but you can't run the VT SCADA layer, or edit the alarm page, or redefine the analog status tag. Now, earlier, I created a snapshot change set of the full OEM layer application from that first video. And through the magic of filmmaking, I also managed to obtain a second snapshot of the same application, which was made somewhat later after there had been updates to that layer. We'll keep that in reserve until the time comes. I've already installed the snapshot change set, and I'll create a new work application that uses it. Now, I'm not going to run the OEM layer because that's kind of the point. We want to uh, not run or make edits to that layer at the, uh, the customer or working site. The working application, once it starts up, will look pretty much exactly the same as it did in the first application. And if I were to open it up, I would find I'd have access to the same tools. I could draw the widget that exists in the OEM layer. I can create new gizmo tags that were defined in the uh, snapshot layer, but there's a few things that I won't be able to do. For example, if I open one of the existing pages and I attempt to edit that in the IDS Studio, 
I'll discover that it's not available for editing, just like the reports page and the historical data viewer page are not available for any application for editing. Operators can open and they can use those pages, but developers cannot change them. Now, if there's a change to the OEM layer made back at the workstation where the source code can still be found, then that change can be shipped as a new snapshot change set. We can apply that, uh, that change set to the OEM layer. Using the apply change set, we'll select, choose the update, and OK. Now, this can be done without interrupting the customer's application, although you may find that the application does sometimes need to be restarted. We'll see the results of this change in a moment, but as for not being able to edit pages within the working application, if they belong to the, or if they're defined in the OEM layer, my Gizmo monitoring page is a good example of the wrong way to do things. If I had wanted to provide this sort of a template for people to draw upon, then what I should have done was create that as a widget. I mean, customers could then draw that widget on any new page of their own creation, and then draw whatever they want on top of that. Just remember that your custom pages in your OEM layer are treated the same way as the VT Skater report page or alarm page, and they won't be available for editing at the customer site. Now the overview page is a special case. If your OEM layer opened that in the Idea Studio, then it got a copy of the source code and therefore, it's going to fall in the same situation as my Gizmo monitoring page. It's something that customers won't be able to edit. Now that might be okay if you use the overview page for something that shouldn't be edited. Otherwise, before creating the snapshot from the OEM layer, what you should do is in the OEM layer, delete your local copy of the overview page. And remember, you're only deleting that layer's local copy or override of the base overview page, which comes from the VT SCADA layer. So if you get rid of it in your OEM layer, well then the VT SCADA layer's version will then again be available for all the descendant applications. Note that after you delete it though, you'll probably have to recreate the menu link to that overview page. For more information about the finer details of working with layers, please refer to the VT SCADA's online help files.